record. For the record. For the For the record. For the record. For the record. For the record. All right. Welcome back, people. This is Don't Sleep on the Couch Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Prez. And with me always. It's your boy Cash, aka Exec P. What's happening, good people? Oh, bringing that energy, I like got it. Got to man, got All to. Right. Go ahead and run it down, Cash. Tell the new people what we what we were about, and then uh, run it down and tell them what we're gonna talk about today. Oh, for sure, for sure, Press. Hey, we're Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast, a podcast about music, life, sports, and everything else that goes on into the culture. So you'll hear us talking about movies. You'll hear us talking about books. You'll hear us talking about elections. So on and so forth. Anything that's out there, we'll touch it if it's relevant to the culture and relevant to us, of course. So that's what Don't Sleep on the Couch podcast is about. Anything else, Prez? Anything no, else? No, no. That's it. You hit it perfectly, man. Uh, so with that, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, man. Over the weekend, man, we HBO Max dropped another banger, The Little Things, mm. starring Denzel Washington, which was an excellent film. We're going to try to... I do a real spoiler alert here, but we're just going to highlight how great of a movie it was and how good it is that HBO Max is still, you know, they they two for two now, right? In my opinion, they two for two. Uh, next up, we got sports, man. We Chad Wheeler is one of those things that happened in sports that's unfortunate that we're going to touch on. Of course, you know, we got the Super Bowl 55 breakdown, DSC podcast style. We also got NBA in five minutes. We're going to briefly touch on what's going on in the NBA just why you got a little bit of time until Super Bowl Sunday and much more, much more in the sports realm. We also, we also got some music. Yes, we, we do. also got some music. It was a slow week in music, but as always, Prez and I are definitely going to come with something as a recommendation for you. So you're not going to go a week without listening to some fire, all right? We also got a question from Wale. He, he, he hollered at us directly. <laughs> <laughs> directly. Uh, directly. At, at DSC. And yeah, so pretty much what we're going to talk about in regards to his question is he asked on Twitter is, you know, do all songs sound the same nowadays? You know, so does that make it hard to, to get on or for you to kind of filter through the BS that is music? And last but not least, it's kind of music, but it's, it's other culture. Unfortunately, we're going to briefly touch on the sexual assault allegations and rape by T.I. and Tiny. So that's that's the show for today, man. Yo, this cast. First things first, man. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel before I even get into this. But one of the things I want to say is I appreciate all our Patreon support. Uh, people have been supporting since we even got the tiers up to kind of even give you guys what we we do with Patreon. So essentially, what Patreon is is a proud to pay campaign, and what it does is it helps us get gear. It helps us pay for subscriptions and a whole other host of things to be able to put the product together that you guys see and hear week to week. It's only me and my God, Mr. Prez. We do this day in and day out. We prepare, we prep, and we want to give you guys something that you can be proud of. Listen, I know we're going all through going through hard times and, and that's okay. We have tiers at $3, $5, and $10. There's go read the tiers. I don't want to explain it in detail right now, but you know, if that's something that you're interested in and, and seeing the podcast grow, then we highly appreciate it. Even if you can't do that, what you can do is spread it by word of mouth, passing it on to a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Look, we got the link here at the bottom. Go support us. We appreciate you guys if you can't do it right now. And we also appreciate you just viewing and whatever you can do in the future. All right, on behalf of myself and Mr. Prez, peace and love to y'all. Enjoy the pod. Hey man, we start off on a somber note. No, 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 no. It's February 1st. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Black history, my Happy baby. Black history, my yeah, well, yeah. I don't know if that's, that's the thing. We're hey, gonna make hey, it hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's not a somber note. I was, I was gonna say it's something totally different. We'll, we'll get back to that. We'll get but back to that. A absolutely, man, absolutely. If you can see me on YouTube, I'm sporting my my Black Love t-shirt <laughs> from Uncle Boobies, man. Shout out to them, man. Yeah, 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 man. I, I, good, uh, what they, coffee and books? Coffee or? and books. Uh, I mean, I just, I buy merch, books from them. Yeah. Just, just cause, and I love their recommendations. So I may get to the book when I get to the book ultimately, but I, pur I purchase it just based off their recommendations. And typically they don't miss when they recommend. So uh, let's, let's spend a second a little bit and let's talk about like, 
What do you feel about Black History Month? Well, how do you feel? Do, is it warranted? Do you appreciate it? Do you like learn something new every year? Or yeah, so it's, it's always a year of reflection. It's always a, a time and reflection, a, a year of embracing. Not a year of embracing, but a, a time to embrace everything. Black entrepreneurs, uh, black history in terms of all the things that I've, I learned. Some even though these memes and all that stuff kind of get corny at times, but. I read them. I take the time to read them and learn little nuggets here and there because for years and years while we were going to school, those type of things were trapped long away from our textbooks. I, I was so, going to ask you about that. Like, because I know Mobile, Alabama, man, that's that's one thing they didn't do. They didn't, like, uh, like teach us a lot of the black history. They kind of glossed over it or, you know, there would be a little... Uh, facetious with it you know what i'm talking about oh why we gotta have a black history month like should be just like everything else do we have a white history month like like come on man you're missing the point it's because like the 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 textbooks and stuff are missing a lot of that stuff and a lot of the heroes that we do have up in there are people to look up to is uh like i I don't know if you pay attention to this but i do it's like we got malcolm x they talk about martin luther king jr uh but when they put those they talk about ali but you know when they actually putting up those stuff around them, they they tend to show a lot of the video that's on the negative side of it instead of them, and then eventually lead with the speech or something like this, or them getting shot, or you know uh, they put up the picture of Malcolm X with the gun at, the, at his house. Not not saying that people was throwing stuff in his house and everything, just kind of sending off that bad little message at the same time they trying of a to militant say of a militant like yeah, a villain like they trying to build you up so. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, like, so in Alabama, man, like, it was missing a lot from the textbooks. Uh, I felt like some of the stuff that they had put up in there or they constantly talked about and actually held black history to what it should be, like, I would have achieved so much more or, or I would have wanted to, to achieve in certain areas that I thought was kind of, like, shut off from me. You know, everybody say, yeah, like we said, everybody said that you can be a president and all this little stuff went back in the day, but that, that wasn't nobody out there seeing that. And lo and behold, man, like, uh, I know one I didn't learn about until, like, years later after I left. Uh, they they kind of been putting a spotlight on him as of uh, recently, back in, like, I think, like, he got a big settlement, like, early uh, early teens or late teens, little portion that he got. It was uh, Lonnie Johnson. Okay. I don't know if you know about this guy. No, no, I haven't heard So of Lonnie him. Johnson, he's from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, the guy went to Williamson High School. Williamson High School is down uh, deeper in Mobile. And uh, this school, like, he was part of the last segregated class to go there. Left there, went to Tuskegee, got his master's in uh, mechanical engineering, uh, mm-hmm. I think it was, or nuclear nuclear engineering. And then he went on to the Air Force, keep doing his thing. Then he went from there to start working for NASA. And then, lo and behold, this dude ended up creating the the super soaker. Right, right, right. Yeah, he didn't never, stop that though. Cash. Never, never, never found out about that till later on. And in, well, into my adulthood, I found out about that and played with them for summers on end. Yeah, never, never known that a black man created that. I mean, that's that's our childhood. That was like those things popped off. I was to say like ninety ninety one. That's when it was popping. Up. Yeah, and I think that's when it came out. Um, the jet packs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and lo and behold, now think if you told a child from Mobile, Alabama, that hey, you know, this this was created by a black man in Mobile, Alabama, and he's getting x and x amount of money on the dollar for this, you know, he's getting his uh, royalty look cut out of it and everything. But hey, he didn't stop that cash. Yeah, like I mean, like you said, like in my growing up, like we had the Malcolm X Boulevards, the Mount um, Martin Luther King Boulevards, and 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 all that. Like the amount of schools throughout Brooklyn and just New York City in general, they were there was a ton of them, shit ton of them named after uh, influential black leaders. So like that wasn't that didn't fall upon us. However, what was taught in the school wasn't always the same thing. You had that Benjamin Banneker, but you had the namesake, but you didn't always have the education um, mm-hmm. piece of it. So that was lacking, and of course, in certain schools. Like, it just wasn't available in terms of the quality education. So they were just kind of pushing you through to do what you needed to do for the state, but not necessarily taking the time to teach that part of history, which, unfortunately, you have to learn on your own as you as you grow up. And, and probably still today, you you know, some kids at school. I know my kid, Black History, 
it yeah, yeah, don't it's, exist. It's still not saying. And like I was saying, like uh, Lonnie Johnson, he didn't stop at the Super Soaker. He also created a Nerf gun. So like every time that y'all sitting there having a, a Super Soaker war or a Nerf gun war with your with your kids and everything, just remember like that right there was created by the black by a black man. So make sure you you inform your kids on that, you know, so they can actually want to achieve these things. Like get do a little bit delving into the history and actually like try to find stuff in Black history. That's what I try to do: find stuff in Black History Month and kind of reinforce it, even if the school ain't doing it. Because I know, like I said, it was always Martin Luther King, and but they're gonna they're gonna show the negative connotation along with him, him getting stoned, uh, the uh, the dogs t- uh, attacking him and everything. They're gonna show Mar- uh, Malcolm X, and it's just in a bad light, you know, everything that goes on. Uh, and then from Mobile, Alabama, one thing they did make abundantly clear, clear was the last slave was traded there, and that's that was cool, Joe. Like, in the, yeah, it's, they they'll, they'll push that on us, but they want to push the positive, so. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to, if you're not black, you just want to learn a little bit, I got three book recommendations for you. So the first one is Cast the Origins of Our Discontents by Isabel Wilkerson. That's one I'm going to be personally reading uh, this week. Also, uh, not this week, well, yeah, I should be finishing it this week. Uh, Stamp from the Beginning, that's another one I got to get to that I brought last year but didn't quite finish. So this month I'm taking as a month to learn more about my own heritage my own history because it's not where it needs to be and I know that I know that I know not I know a lot but I don't feel like I know enough and I want to know more so stamp from the beginning by Ibram um X Kendi and then the last one is going to be uh King Leopold's Ghost. Oh, yeah. From King Leopold's Pops, Ghost. Pops recommendation right there. Yeah, down. so that was my Pops recommendation, and I still haven't gotten through that. So I, I, that's a ton, shit ton of reading. I'm going to have to do it as well as all of the great movies that come out that kind of speak to um, black history. So that's really going to be where I'm at. If I'm not podcasting, I'm reading a book, or, you know, I'm, I'm watching a movie for some downs. So we family. know, like... I know a lot of people like to say, oh, America's bad with the racism and stuff like this. But those two books that he named but tell you the whole history about how it's, 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 it's in America. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere. And it's been that way for a minute. They didn't kind of like shunned on it. It's not just a, it's a worldwide problem when you actually look at it. You know, some people try to do better. But I mean, like, if you dig, dig in that history, it's, it's dirty. It's dirty, man. It ain't, ain't, ain't looking good for a lot of us and, like, what they stole, what they took, and what they try to keep uh, blocked off to the side about the accomplishments and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, even the author, as I was uh, listening to the the prelude to the book earlier today with uh, the, the ghost of uh, Leopold, um, King... Is it, yeah, King Leopold. King Leopold's ghost, as I was... Uh, I'm, I'm turning back, looking at it for you guys that can't see on or listening on audio. So, uh, yeah... Even the author didn't know about half of the things that went on or the the origins behind slavery. So, and, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm I'm probably an hour and a half into the book. I'm listening to it because I move around too much. But so, yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lot, learning a lot. So, I I implore you all that are listening to take this month to learn something. I mean, even if you can't give back with your time or money or whatever it is that you're you're working towards. Give it back in knowledge and education. Man, I like that. Look at what the positive spin on here, man. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, Look at man. Look at this guy over here, man. <laughs> All right. 